now modern technologies are applied to manage a volume of water for agriculture. But unlike in Bali, the traditional Balinese irrigation, which is called subak, remains operable in the farmland instead. Our reporter has more details. Water scarcity has become a pressing issue recently for farmers in many countries, but not here in Bali. This is because the island of Indonesia has a sustainable irrigation system called Subak. It allows farmers to grow rice and other crops at the right time of the year. Existence of Subak has been known for the last approximately 1,000 years. This traditional irrigation system is exclusively controlled by Balinese farmers. Given this specific type of geography, the Balinese have applied Subak irrigation system under which water from high land is brought down to low land. It is an effectual distribution of water for agriculture the local villagers distribute and use the water in Subak irrigation system in fair and equal manner. For instance, those who may have large parcels of farmland can build a relatively large waterway. They live on self-reliance basis and need no government assistance. The Subak system, which was listed as a World Heritage by UNESCO, reflects the old Balinese wisdom of three Hitakarana to maintain three mutual relationships with God, people, and nature, and create a sustainable cycle to maintain life on the island. Ritual activities relating to Subak practice encourage the Balinese community to strengthen the harmony and togetherness. It is the reason why the Subak system has been applied for centuries. Now, Subak is more well known as a sustainable tourist attraction for both local and foreign visitors. Without the Subak system, agriculture in Bali might not have flourished, and given the island its landscape of rice fields, this model of environmental conservation is Balinese wisdom, which can avoid an impact of modern agricultural technology. NBT World reporting from Bali.